everyone. I am very happy and excited about launching this new YouTube lecture series on Introduction to Second Language Acquisition. Before we begin, I would like to give you a very quick introduction about myself. My name is Kazuya Saito. I currently work as Associate Professor at University College London Institute of Education. But before coming here, I was at Birkbeck College, University of London as a junior lecturer. But then before coming to the UK, I was actually in Japan to teach English at Waseda University, Tokyo. I'm really into second language acquisition research, but I have been also interested in the development of second language teaching and learning materials. Therefore, I have been closely working with the textbook companies in Japan and elsewhere. My research topic is very simple and straightforward. That is second language acquisition. So if you want to know more about my research, please come to my website where you can read all of my published papers in scholarly journals for free. I have been also active in social media such as Facebook and Twitter. So I have been trying to disseminate the findings of my research in as many different outlets as possible. Let me give you a very quick definition of what second language acquisition research actually is. So SLA is about understanding how humans pick up different areas of language, such as phonology, vocabulary, and grammar in various settings, classroom, as well as naturalistic immersive settings. And another key issue is what factors matter for success in terms of the process and product of second language acquisition. So let me share with you a little bit about my anecdotal stories on second language acquisition. The first time I took this class called Second Language Acquisition was the time when I was a first year PhD student at McGill University, Montreal, Canada. The class was taught by a professor, Roy Lister, who was my PhD supervisor. Right after I took this class and started learning about this subject, I immediately fell in love with the content because all the discussion done in class was just so relevant to my practical needs, basically. So for example, all the studies on what characterizes best pedagogy were just so inspiring to me because I used to be a language teacher. Not only that, I have been still active user of second language English. Therefore, all the insights coming from SLA are still useful for me to further improve second language skills. SLA is a highly interdisciplinary in nature, covering different types of scholarly disciplines, such as linguistics. Linguistics is about how to analyze phonological, lexical, grammatical aspects of language. And psychology. Psychology is about underlying mechanisms in various learning behaviors, including second and foreign language learning. Education. Education is about how to provide a good education in classroom context, including second and foreign language teaching. SLA is actually a relatively young field. It's only 50 to 60 years old. And since I have been in this business for a while, I can tell you from a scary point of view, the number of journals where you can read and publish research projects and the number of researchers who are interested in this field, these numbers have been increasing dramatically over the past 10 years. Why? This is because SLA can provide a great deal of practical impact on the society in many different ways. For example, education, as I said earlier, SLA can better inform how best to teach second language in an optimal way. And the knowledge here will in turn help second language test developers think more critically about how to assess second language skills from multiple different angles. And politics, the findings in SLA have been influencing bilingual and multilingual education policies all over the world, including the introduction of early English education in East Asian countries. And finally, computer sciences, because SLA can provide a lot of data, how second language learners speak and write target language in different modalities, gigantic amount of data will definitely help computers better recognize speech and words. So this is how we'll go about this YouTube lectures on introduction to second language acquisition. In theme one, we're going to start off with the first language acquisition. Why do we need to learn about first language acquisition? Because there are a lot of differences, but also the similarities between first and second language acquisition. A lot of theories and discussions in SLA actually come from first language acquisition literature. Therefore, it is very important to cover certain key issues in first language acquisition. Second, we'll talk about second language development of grammar, vocabulary, and phonology. In theme three, we're going to talk about ultimate attainment, meaning how far you can go and then what factors actually matter for that purpose. And then in theme four, we'll talk about the mechanisms underlying second language acquisition, but in 
two different contexts. One is the naturalistics context, the other one is a classroom context. From theme five onward, we'll pay attention to individual differences, but within learners. Theme five is going to be about the cognitive and perceptual abilities. And theme six is going to be about socio-psychological factors, such as motivation, emotion, personality. And it will end this YouTube lecture series talking about the theories in second language acquisition and their impacts on the teaching. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. And in the next video, I will talk a little bit more about how to structure this module. So see you soon.